Hey everybody, it's Justin from J3 Creations, and today we're going to be working on a half mandala on the summer dress. I might do some accordion folding from the top to the bottom, just because there will be some space after this half mandala, but let's get started. So we're going to do the usual fold over like we would for any mandala. Make sure and get your lines straight here. Nobody likes an uneven mandala. I guess some people might, but it's not what I'm going for here today. All right, so first fold is essentially like folding an airplane. This will get you a four point mandala. This will get you an eight point mandala. Try to ensure that your fabric stays how it should. We want flat surface area. Might be kind of hard from the camera angle, but I am folding from the back of the mandala to the front just because I've noticed it just helps a little bit keep a straight line. Alright, so this might be a little tricky with the flip here. Probably going to have to straighten things out a little bit over there. But it feels, feels about right. Yeah, just make sure that your lines are kept straight and your surface area is kept flat. And you should be alright. So again, first fold, get you a four point, flatten that out. And then fold again, that'll get you an eight point. That tip is a little funky. Might throw an elastic on there just to hold its place. All right, and then we're gonna fold again from the back portion, just to ensure that everything gets folded up nicely. And then just kind of match up your lines as you go down. But I guess we need those elastics off if we're going to get that final fold in there. Alright, so that is a 16 point mandala. I will admit that is one of the more messy mandalas that I've made, but... It will do for now. Gonna get some elastics on here just to ensure that our fold stays sturdy as we move it around to the die station and get some color on there. So, I still need to sinew this mandala, but right now, I'm going to deal with the top portion. So to do that, I'm going to try to ensure that our folds are somewhat aligned. Man, they're really wonky up here. So that goes in there like that, that should go like that. Okay, so after a little bit of refolding, I think I got it. 
So, trying to ensure that my lines are lined up in the front and back. Then I'm just going to accordion fold it up like this. Should give me some pretty interesting patterns. I also want to ensure that I get enough saturation because this is a pretty heavy garment. So kind of just going over and under. It's pretty messy. Um, I know a lot of people that could do better ones, but just trying to kind of be gracious with myself and work through the process. So that is a really chunky accordion fold, but I think we might call that good for now. Gonna get some elastics on it. And then we'll get it over to the dye station and see what we can do. So my half mandala will, you know, go zigzag in the usual fashion that I do up to about here maybe here and then this will bleed out from the mandala and the accordion fold so I'm really excited to see how it turns out but before we call it done I'm going to wrap this. So here it is folks, we got the mandala all tied up in a zigzag fashion and this is an accordion. It is pretty bulky but also there is a lot of fabric in this garment and so I'm hoping that it turns out kind of like I'm expecting but you know. One surefire way is to do it and wash it out and yeah. Okay, so here it is. Got the accordion fold at the top. And I'll get a better picture once it's washed out and stuff. But accordion fold top all the way down to the half mandala. And that is your summer dress. 
so thanks for watching feel free to subscribe to get more videos and leave a comment so we can chat